Hey guys, sup, 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 Ray here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. I'm going to teach you how to clean your playmat. Now, I just recently cleaned this one, so I'll dry it up. And I'm going to basically show you step by step. And we're going to start with the Junk Warrior mat I have besides me, so let's go do that. So right above me, you could, uh, right under me, you can see this Junk Warrior mat is like from 2003. I haven't really washed it or nothing. It's got some crinkles and stuff. Uh, there's a few ways you can basically get out the crinkles. We're going to go in that video too. We, we, yeah, covering that in this video too. Uh, mainly one to just make everything nice and clean and I'm going to show you right now how to do that. So we're going to take the mat and then I'm going to put this on the tripod after I get this in the sink. Alright, so you got your average kitchen sink, uh, especially for New York. I like this stuff here, pollinated with Oxy, so you can see that. Basically, it's what you use to wash dishes with and actually get your mat really clean. But you're not going to go like super hard on it. So what you want to do is you want to just throw your mat in there and uh, just keep in mind this is the... Basically like the mouse pad kind of mats that are bigger. The spell, gr the spell grounds, they require a little more work. And when I get one, we'll actually do a video. They do some little research. So what we're going to do is just going to throw that on there very, very generously. And I don't know if you can see the little squiggle lines. That's what you want to see. Then, because this border is a pain in the ass. I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to try to move it up. Basically, I have it on uh, medium, like, you know, war uh, warm and hot. So you want to take your hand and you want to just get in there like that. You're just dead serious. Get in there and you want to scrub it up. Okay? And what this is going to do is going to remove the stains, any you know, dirt that's in there, any grime. You know, not that people got dirty hands or none, but when you play your cards and you touch things, it's going to come onto your mat and you do not want that. So I advise doing this like once a month. It's usually what I do with my sword order online mat that you saw back over there. I haven't done this with this mat because basically this thing has been freaking in storage for like three years. So it's pretty fucking old. But you're going to see all the foam coming up. That's perfectly fine. Make sure whatever cleaner you're using doesn't hurt your hands. You know, sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin, hence why I use this. It's easier for me. You can also use a little bit of um, laundry detergent if that works for you. I prefer this stuff because it just eats at the grind. Yeah, you're going to see a little bit of it coming up. So you're just going to scrub a dub for a good two minutes, get in there. Then you're going to take one edge of the mat and just let it drain out. And that's going to get all that grime out. Sorry if I'm talking a little too loud, I want to make sure you guys can hear me. And you're going to put it back in and just rinse and repeat. And you do this a few times. And it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, I won't lie. But you know what, it's worth it because of how clean it's going to come out. Just make sure not to burn yourself. If you need someone to help you, have someone help you. This is an easy way to clean it. I think we all freaking have kitchen sinks at least, you know, to something like this. Yeah, you, know, you got your oven, you got your kitchen sink. We're in Council HQ right now. It's where we come to film. So, it's where we come to clean mats too. So you want to get in there, get all the suds out, shake it off a little. I got to be careful because I got the camera right there. And you can see pretty much there's a nice difference already much much clearer than it used to be because this thing is just old and like I said we're gonna get those wrinkles out too and there's two ways of getting the wrinkles out um, first one is because like I said this is I think from 2005 or 2008 I want to say 2008 and we're at what 2014 towards the end of it I have not cleaned this mat in ages so let's go with I haven't cleaned the mat since like 2008 because I haven't used it I'm just going to get all the suds out. It's okay It's okay if your mat feels really heavy and there's lots of water coming out. That's normal. Now, because I'm an adult, joke, joke, um, in all seriousness, because I own this place and I ain't got to worry about it. I'm going to do something really silly, but basically what you want to do is you want to hang this up now. It doesn't matter how you hang it up. You want to hang it up in a place that it's going to get dry. That's going to be your next step, and we're going to do that, and then we'll come back. Now, like I said, I'm going to do something really stupid because... This oven always stays really hot on top, so in the winter season, like we're getting to now, my cats like to lay up here, get a little warm. Um, I do not advise this, and I make sure your oven's off. If you're doing this and you live alone, make sure, you know, to prevent the fire. Basically what you want to do is you also want to just shake out the water over the sink, hence what you're hearing me do right now. And what you want to do, you want to lay it down after it's dried out, whatnot. Say, hypothetically, this is dry if you're not doing this stuff. I put it on the oven because the oven's always going to stay warm. It's 
put it on top of a heater that has something to protect the heater. Make sure it's not directly touching it. Like, all right, let me make an example. A little bit of fire safety there. Um, there's metal here, so we're pretty safe. Um, like I said, I just gotta make sure those burners don't go on. So basically you wanna do like the half method, make sure those burners stay off, put sun over them. Uh, if you have any animals that can jump up here or anything like that. But basically you're gonna let this dry. After it's dry, I'll show you what to do now to get out those wrinkles. If you hang it up in the bathroom, make sure this end is not soaking down. Make sure you drain it out. You could just go like that, get the water out. You want to make sure it's going on the opposite side, basically where the uh, you know the drains are for your beautiful shower. <laughs> or you know, is, I think every, mostly everyone's got a shower, so make sure to do that if you're doing that inside. If outside, it doesn't really matter as long as you're not over wood, because that will cause mold. So. Be kind to the environment and be kind to yourself. Keep that in mind, and here's the other method. Okay, my putty cat wanted to come over anyway. Uh, say your little putty cat, this little guy here, wants to come over and lay on your mat because he wants to stay warm. Go ahead, go, show, show the nice people. So your putty cat wants to go on the mat. This is also a great way to clean it because you know your cat's gonna get hairs on it. And it's gonna just drain out. I don't mind if they lay on it because I know how to get it out. If there's hairs in the mat or anything like that, substance-wise, you could just use duct tape and take it off. I just go with the cleaning method, gets it fully clean, you ain't got to worry about it, you ain't got a doggy that wants to lay on it, whatever, you know, animals, that's what they do, right? That's what they do, that's Shadow Jr., by the way, for those of you wondering. So anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, I'm going to take this little guy out of here, and I will see you next video, if you stick around. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, let me know if this was helpful tutorial for you, let me know what other tutorials you would like to see in the future. I'm Rio for the Video Council, thanks for watching, and my special guest, Shadow Jr. Till next time, peace. All right, to get out the wrinkles, it's pretty uh, easy. You can use books, anything that's like really flat surface, four-way flat surface, and you could just do this method to start, or you could just put it on the corners, however flat you want to get it, and then you can, or you can iron it if you have an iron. You just go over the iron like that. Yeah, that's my wall. I'm just sticking it there. But you want to get those corners in, and basically, after it's fully dried, about a day after, it takes a full day for this whole process. You get this nice clean mat that you can see off the light how nice and bright and vibrant that is and just how clean it is because you can look at previous videos it was getting a little bit dirty and it's you know I go to touch and whatnot you know your hands get a little dirty they're not always going to be 100% clean you know you got germs in the world it just makes the mat nice and clean so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you uh, that junk warrior mat's going to take a day I want to get this video out also another thing if you're a pretty cat so you have a pretty cat let's use an example here with the pretty cat